Hey there everyone, Barb Ling here along with Mo, the amazing mowing piggy moose and ideally the Beak of Doom who actually just came over here. Beak, would you like to say hello? We heard you chirp. You could walk over to the camera. There we go. Back up. Right. Anywho's. Forgive the lack of marketing in this live video. A couple of days ago, an individual extraordinarily close to myself uh, shared some really scary things. And it deals with suicide, to be precise. It deals with suicide ideation. To be precise, it deals with what do you do when you really believe that the world would be a way better place without you. Now, before I answer that, I do need to give uh, this forward and such. I am not a doctor. I have never played a doctor. I have absolutely zero training in anything besides marketing, Beaks of Doom, dog training, lots of other things, but that's besides the point. <laughs> During the past 20 odd years, I have dealt with a lot of friends. I've dealt with a lot of, of individuals who have learned that coming to me or talking to me, it's like a many to one folks will talk with me and it never gets out to anybody else. So yeah, I've heard a lot. The thing about suicide ideation, okay, pay attention bird, is at that moment, when you're in the moment, when you feel to yourself, oh my gosh, I have absolutely no idea where to go, what to do, etc., etc. I want the pain to stop. And that's a very understandable reaction when you feel as though life is no longer worth living. And when that happens, what I've discovered helps the most is the ability to slowly, very slowly, bit by bit, do whatever is required to pull your mind out of that because the voices that say to you the world is a better place without you they're lying they're beyond lying because your presence in this world is what really makes the world a magnificent place for one two five ten however many people your life touches so what do you do when suicide ideation um, hits your psyche <sighs> ideally there are several things one call the national suicide prevention hotline okay and that's I'm looking at over here 1-800-273-8255 I have that pulled that up right next to me and such because there will always be people who are willing to talk it out but with you but the thing you want to remember is Unless there is a nuclear sized disaster that thoroughly implodes our universe, the sun always rises tomorrow. And every day, every day that you awake above ground is one more day that you can turn things around in your life. It's one more day. You can let the people you love know that, hey, I'm not doing well, help. And there is no shame. There's no negativity when life thoroughly smushes you. What there is, is the realization that no matter how superhuman we might want to think that we are, there are times where things just get to be too much. And when that happens, you're not you're not alone. You don't have to be alone. You don't have to go it alone. And again, every day that you give yourself permission to wake up the next morning, in other words, every day that you don't follow that impulsive desire to make everything stop is one more day that you can change things. Make no mistake about it, okay? Your presence in this world is one of the reasons why this world shines. And 
I also know that when you're in the throes of feeling there is no reason to continue, etc., there's this, this great line. It doesn't matter who loves you. It matters who you love. And that basically also can blind you to the fact that your presence, your presence is something that raises the spirit of so many people, especially if you let them know that, hey, things, sorry, bird. <laughs> things are tough, help. Other things that you can do to help pull yourself out of feeling so thoroughly god awful is put on your favorite music, your music that you view that use that whenever you hear it, it pulls your memory back to those days, back to those days wherever whatever created that happy memory and such, and be gentle. Be gentle with yourself. For some folks, meds work well. Seeing a doctor to see if there's something that could help um, balance some of the, the hormones or chemicals in your body, because God knows, as you get older, yeah, that can get screwed up a whole lot as well too. Um, and basically, reaching out to the people who you know beyond any shadow of a doubt, would be there for you if they knew the depth of your pain. The thing to remember, suicide ideation, it is temporary. It is a moment where you say to yourself, okay, the world is a better place without me, but again, that belief is a lie. Because there are so many people that when they wake up and they think about you, it puts a smile deep in their heart. Uh, in closing, suicide ideation is real and it's really horrible and getting through it sucks or so. And yeah, <laughs> I'm speaking from experience, but the sun will always rise the next day. And just because you hit rock bottom at one particular point, one way to look at it is the only way you can go from there is up. So again, National Suicide Prevention Hotline, 1-800-273-8255. Uh, the voices that might say to you, it's not worth going on anymore. Well, they lie and ideally, as you seek help and as you proactively pull yourself out of that temporary belief that there's nothing, nothing positive could help, you wake up the next day and you realize that, yeah, things can get better. And you tackle the world day after day from there. So to the person who asked me to make this Facebook Live video, you are beautiful, you are magnificent. <laughs> You're quite frankly, one of the most wonderful people on the face of this planet. You're loved and that will never change. And the future will only go up. So, yep, Barb Bling here along with Mo, the amazing mowing piggy moose signing off. Hello there, piggy. <laughs> and we will see you, swing on the inside. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.